What's up, Swaglish? Jason here. Today, I'm going to do my October 2019 EDC pocket dump. So if you don't know, I do at least one of these per year because my gear doesn't really change that much. So to start off, I have my camo hat. I've had this hat for a long time. And I've even made a little playlist of every single video that this hat it has been in. So you can see how much it has to change. But... Over the years, I've had some type of modifications. I think the first thing was adding this paracord on the back of it. It's probably like four feet of paracord on the back. I've had stuff inside of the lip right here. I even still have a safety pin, which I probably have to uh, replace now. But the thing about it is it just gets pretty sweaty in here, and everything can get ruined unless it has been waterproofed or some type of sealant on it. So I've kind of limited or took out everything from there, but I forgot to take out the safety pin. I've had replaced my sunglasses I've been on here. These are bomber safety glasses that are polarized. These are really nice, robust, just awesome, awesome glasses, especially if I'm going to be working in a park range type of job. But if I'm going to be out in the city, I don't really want something like this. I try to have my own good compact glasses right here by Biohazard. So these are just simple little sunglasses. I got like for a dollar at Goodwill. And I think I got these for like two dollars or something like that. So some sunglasses. I go in between each one of them. I don't carry both of them at the same time. I have my paracord bracelet right here. I've had this for probably almost three years now. You can see how much it's been through as well. This used to be black and all the paint has been rubbed off. The uh, ferro seam rod doesn't really work out too well. I mean, even in the beginning it's just kind of small. You need some good tender for it to work. Have a whistle. Safety pin right there. I think probably have like probably 12 or 15 feet of paracord on here. Then on um, my belt loop. Simple keys. Just nothing fancy about that. On my other belt loop, I have my EDC pouch, the Vanquist PPM Husky. I have a video, I'll leave a link in the description down below, or you check out this link right here, and check out that video of what I have inside of here. The recent changes, I have a screwdriver, really compact, and some bits right here. Got this from Goodwill as well. Lucky me, right? I've added a good pair of tweezers, but a simple run through of what if I have in here, multi-tool, flashlight, some pair of scissors, contacts lens, and container. Then I have some type of wire, a, a mini tripod, so some simple thing inside of here. Let's just leave that like this. Then on my belt, on my left side, I have my phone case. My phone I'm currently recording with, it's an LG G6. So this fits the phone perfectly, but I've had quite a bit of times of uh, just replacing what it comes inside of here, but currently I don't have anything in here. The last thing that was in there was this. It's just a simple little medical kit with a UST survival card on here, but it was just too heavy for this and it kept falling out. Next thing, I have a good Sharpie. This is a Milwaukee Sharpie. You can get these at a Home Depot, Lowe's, stuff like that. So it's a really tough and durable Sharpie right there. Plus, you can almost write on anything. So, on my other side of my belt, don't get too excited. I'm, I'm, I'm not taking my belt off you. Well, technically, I am. I have my Buck 110. As you can see, it already has some wear on the leather case that comes in. Then my Buck 110. I've used this quite a lot. I even uh, gutted some fish with this as well, or, or cleaned some fish with it. So that has helped out a lot on my right side pocket from the front. I went with a two combo knife. I have a small and a big knife. This is the Sanren Mu 7010. You can see right there, really slim. It's a pretty sharp knife right there as well. So these 
are a good combination right there. I mean, slim and then thick. <laughs> Just what you need, right? So I really like that combination. A small knife and a big knife really helps out. Then on my, or in my coin pouch or your uh, watch pocket, or whatever you want to call it. So I have my Olight I 1R EOS. This is small light, but pretty dang on bright right there. I even made a review on this, but I actually found this tube on just the side of the sidewalk that fits this perfectly. So it's just another barrier for water, but the flashlight is already waterproof, so it doesn't really help out. But, but, you can see right here, look at that. You can use this as a diffuser. This is awesome. It just fits it perfectly. So this actually spreads out light a little bit more other than just like a spotlight. You could actually see a lot better if you like drop something down the side in between the seats of the car, but whatever. But you could definitely see that is an awesome, awesome find that it just fits perfectly in this little lip right there. That's awesome. So got the light right there. On my left pocket, I have bandana, another bandana. This was the uh, first one that I had. I can see right here, it's kind of torn up a little bit. That's because I had a little emergency medical situation out in uh, the, the wilderness. I decided that day I'm not gonna have a medical kit and it just happens that day I got a little cut, you know? But it's one of those cuts that just kept bleeding so you couldn't really do that much. Yeah, it's kind of jinxed myself that day because it's like, I don't need a medical kit today. <laughs> then that happens. But I'm still going to use this bandana. So on my back left pocket, I have a notepad. Jace all weather lined notebook. Really nice. And behind it is going to be my UST survival card right there. I decided to put this in my back pocket instead of the front pocket because you never know if something's gonna push down and actually gonna cut your leg right there. So having the little sleeve right here and behind the notebook, it would actually be pretty protected. But I'm thinking about possibly just adding it inside the kit right there. But I wouldn't have, I usually leave this pouch inside my car. So that's the one thing about that. So the last thing, let me check real quick, is my Billfold, just a simple leather wallet by Fat Man Tolly. The only survival type of thing that I have in here is a Fresnel lens and a guitar pick. So those are both for fire making, but I usually have some type of toothpick slash flosser right there. So that is my kit right there. I usually carry some water with me, so it's pretty much an EDC item anyways. But for future ideas or gear that I'm thinking about keeping with me, it's probably a good Stanley insulated water bottle. I've had this for probably almost seven months now, I believe, maybe. But this will keep my water cold and fresh throughout the day because if I leave this in my car, it's not gonna be as warm as something like this is gonna be because this just, just saps the heat out of it when it's stuck in the car. I know you, I don't really carry the water with me anyways when I go somewhere. Next things, I might start carrying a 10 kit again, but inside of my pocket right here because I feel like I need something else because I usually keep this inside my car anyways because it's just kind of a thing just to lug around on the side of your pants. There's nothing really you want to carry with you too much, but it's a good thing to have with you when you're inside the car when you're really close. And, and I'm never really too far from the car. But something of a new thing, I, I'm not really thinking about uh, carrying it every single day, but probably more like uh, every time I go out to eat. So going for like a restaurant or fast food, I have a simple little tin it's full of restaurant stuff that have a wipe, salt, gum, some type of sauce, and then mustard, hot sauce, Texas cube hot sauce, some mints, some actual mints, yeah, 
an actual Altoids kit with an Altoids in it. How rare do you see that? <laughs> so that is a simple little kit that I may think about showing in there. Just a simple bonus if I decide to go there because I, I do have the space right here to put it anyways. So I might as well carry it each day. So that is everything for 2019 and possible things for 2020. So leave your thoughts and opinions down below. I hope you enjoyed this video. I want to thank you all for watching. See you in the next one.